Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with a big one here. A 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball doubleheader. Two hobby cases, random team break number four, and uh, silver packs, one per box. There you go. No vet commons ship. All teams are in. Let's do it. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Appreciate it. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Nick on the pole, Josh in the 30 spot. Four and a four, eight the hard way for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We got the O's down to my Dodgers. We'll be playing in a little bit. All right, Nick with the Orioles, John with the Angels, Chris with the Diamondbacks, Jose with the Reds, Bill with the Pirates, Nick with the Phillies, Josh with the Guardians, Steven with the Brew Crew, Adam with the Royals, Jacob with the Mets, Jay with the Rockies, Steve with the Cardinals and Giants, Mark with the Cubs, Josh with the Yankees, Michael with the Twins, Tim with the Braves, Zach with the Red Sox, C. Birch, Mariners and Nationals, Kevin with the Rays, Chris, Last Spot Mojo Rangers, Matthew with the A's, Tony with the Marlins, Kevin with the Padres, Chris with the White Sox, Chad with the Tigers and Strohs, Jose with the Blue Jays, and Josh Ost with the Dodgers. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit for the trade window. So when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. We'll see you on the other side. Hi, welcome back everybody. So. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Wednesday the 12th, 2022. There's that hobby doubleheader. Random team number four. Let's play two, as Ernie Banks used to say. And there's Chris with that last spot mojo Rangers. Thanks to him. Thanks to everybody for making this happen. I appreciate it. Settle in. This is going to be a long break. We will do an autograph recap, maybe a low numbered card recap at the end as well. Not busy. Let me check them out. Yeah. All right. Nice. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a little bit of help from from Evan. Help this break move along a little bit more quickly. Happy with any any minutes we can save here. do the silver packs all at once at the end as well after we're done with all the main boxes. Well, I was hoping we'd have some baseball to watch here, but Mother Nature had other ideas, boys and girls. Rain. Rain has delayed the Phillies Braves game. But I think they're going to go ahead. I think maybe I think they're still going to try to make it work. I think their first pitch will be at the bottom of the hour now. All right. Can I grab another cart? Uh, yeah, however you want to do it. Probably cart will be easiest. I didn't post a poll for that Phillies Braves game. I thought it was going to be rained out. I thought they were going to push till tomorrow, but All right, why don't we move the trash can? Yeah, move the trash can away. Let's put this case in the box. 
Um, can you get a um, some mat for the cards too? That camera's right here. All right, excellent. And slide these boxes over here. And they're kind of slippery, so um, half stacks per cool. box. There you go. Thanks to Evan for that. Evan went to the Dodgers game last night. Yes, sir. Good time. Nice. Where'd you sit? Uh, reserve level. On nice. The, uh, third base side. Third base side, good. Yeah. I'll tell you, I hate Manny Machado, but he's a slick, slick fielder. Yeah, he is. He is pretty good. He might get some MVP votes. He might. This year. All right. So I think this break, ladies and gentlemen, is just uh, is no vet comments. So obviously. Rookie cards are going to ship. Jack Flaherty is not going to ship. Adam Frazier's a hit, so that will ship. Let's see the Mariners tomorrow. Steve Birch with the M's. It's the Adam Frazier autograph. So Sammy Long will ship. Rookie cards will ship. Vet Commons won't ship. And obviously, that's a rookie. It'll still ship anyway, but refractors and parallels and hits obviously ship. So, like, for example, that Max Muncy will ship. Got Alexander Wells to 75. Baltimore, that'll be for Nick. And those will all be top-loaded before they get, obviously, that stuff ships, so on and so forth. And those sleeved cards will all be top-loaded before they're uh, sent out. And sent. Right. Can we see those cards here? Let's actually, if you don't mind, let's do it. Maybe move them over here. They're not going anywhere, folks. I'm, <laughs> not going anywhere. I'm pretty much trapped in the corner here. I can <laughs> grab and run if I want. There's Kyle Muller, Atlanta Braves. Blue Lava that goes to Tim Tyler, got randomized. The Bravos. 131 out of 150. It's like they're warming up. First pitch will be at the bottom of the hour ish. Seven twenty what? Four. Twenty four? Is what they're saying. Not twenty five. Yeah, they they wanted to make it. Not twenty three. I think I want to say the reason that they do that is for TV broadcasting reasons. Correct. Right? Yes. yes. They want people to tune in at weird times, so exactly. like, so you'll catch yourself in the middle of the game or something like that. Is that what it is? That's what it is. So Dodgers someone's going to tune in at 4 o'clock and be like, where's the game? Where's the game? It should be at the yeah. top of the hour. Yeah. And then they end up getting stuck watching the pregame show. Yep. Or if you tune in at 4.30, then, then you're like, oh, there, there's a... Uh, it's 4.30, like, uh, there's innings now. <laughs> now I'm invested in this game, I can't tune out. I can't turn it off now. I can't turn it off now. I gotta watch I already missed an inning or two. Yeah. 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 Ended up taking me two hours to get to the last wasn't Elon Musk going to build a, uh, remember yeah. when he said he was going to build a tunnel? That's what I heard. A hyper tunnel there? Yeah. I don't think. They called me out last night. I don't think, it, <laughs> I don't think it broke ground yet. <laughs> and there's a, have you done, have you done like, uh, like the trolley all the way down there? I have. I have. And then you take the bus from Union yes. Station? Uh, the problem is the, on the way home, it's not getting there. Is that it takes you a good hour to 
to just to, to, bus to get to the uh, stop so it's, to it's, get it's, back it's to the just train. basically the same amount of time then. The only reason you take the train is the Staples order the Coliseum. It's fantastic. Yeah, that is that's because that's just that, that's just right a straight there. shot. Right I think even if you took our Santa Monica line, we'd have to transfer like twice. Yep. To get to Union Station. Yep. So it's a little bit of. A Did it once? I'll never do it again. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. It's a full day adventure. It was perfect when that, um, when FYF had the big festival in the yes. park just north of Chinatown. Mm-hmm. That was awesome because we just parked our car at that big Culver City lot. And then just take the trolley to downtown, do the couple changes, right. take the gold line up there, it spits us right at the entrance of that festival, and then yeah. we can just do whatever, and then you don't do, do things uh, that people do at festivals, <laughs> and then we just uh, hop back on, and by the time we got back to the long train ride back to Culver City, we were like, oh, now we're home. <laughs> yeah, now we're home, and the, the effects of what people do at festivals have worn off, have worn off and we can all <laughs> safely drive home. Exactly. <laughs> all right, next box. We got a Miguel Cabrera flipped around. Now oh, that insert will ship. Trevor Rogers, black and white, for the Marlins, that'll be for Tony, a little short print, and the first autograph of this box is Yanni Hernandez, that will go to Chris and the Rangers, last spot mojo strikes again, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. My favorite quote. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's just so great. It's just... <laughs> what was it? It was Sex Panther, I think, in a, in, a, in Anchorman. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Sex Panther, I think, is what it was. <laughs> it was Kyle Seeger uh, Green, 25 out of 99. And that's a Mariner's edition that'll be for Steve Birch. The only edition, I think, right? Do you play anywhere else, Kyle Seeger? No. Back there, that was Kyle Muller. And here's John uh, Heasley. Rookie auto for the Royals. That'll be for Adam. There it is, back of the baseball card. Yeah, I saw that. They're taking any zip code, like in Los Angeles County, they're not allowing people to buy tickets. Great. Just, it's like with the uh, Rams do for the Niners. Right, yeah. So it's a little... A little petty. It's a little petty, a little bush. A little bush league. If you, if you can't handle the, uh, the fire, you know? Yeah, <laughs> get, your, uh, get your people out there, you know? Come on, marketing department. <laughs> Get butts in seats. Give away the tickets. Have you know, yeah. And tell your fans to stop, to stop reselling tickets on StubHub. <laughs> That's you know, like, what are you guys doing? Go to the game. that relic. Got another double header loaded up, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get your spots there, reserve your spots there. I'm 
sure we can get it knocked out at some point this week. Maybe, to, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Jaffyscasebreaks.com. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> some point. Yep. I'm going to give you the rest of these boxes here as well. Please. All right. Onwards. Another box. There's that relic. There's Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. Going to Adam and the Royals. Let's see if we can find his former teammate in here too. 16 out of 99 on that. Jordan Alvarez is numbered. Yes, 30 out of 50. What a blast from him. Man. The only trade that uh, Andrew Freeman says he, publicly anyway, says he regrets. There's a nice Wander Franco, 185 out of 199. Nice rookie, nice little wave there, nice parallel. Kevin Benedict. When the spot he got straight up, got randomized the Rays, gets that nice Wander Franco. Short Fairchild, Rookie Auto, going to Chris and this Diamondback, Snakes. Right, his ears don't look too shiny here. <laughs> we'll see when he gets a start against the Dodgers, we'll have to see. I'm sure there'll be a lot of cameras on his ears. A lot of eyes on his ears. Joe Musgrove, ear watch. Ear watch. Ear watch 2022. We got a Justin Turner. Nice. Red turn two. 67 out of 9.99, 399 that is, for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Josh Yost. And Hans Kraus for the Fighting Phils. Nick with the Phillies. Each of these half stacks, ladies and gentlemen, will represent a box. Half stack. Half stack. Half stack. Another half stack. right here all right onwards good luck everybody our auto is right here that's uh, Miguel Sanchez rookie auto for the brew crew that is for Steven You know, it took me way later in life to realize that that is an M and a B. Really? For Milwaukee Interesting. Brewers. I never knew that until maybe like 10 years ago or something like that. That's why I love the uh, Washington State logo. Yeah. It has a WSU in it, but it's not obvious. I like that. I like it. Clever. Get creative, right? It's part of the city, New York, that looks green right there. It is. 62 out of 99. Pete Alonzo. There's Joey Votto. Refrag, that must be a, a variation there. 
For the Reds, that'll be for Jose. And this will go to Jacob and the Mets. Speaking of Mets and Jacobs, Evan, where do you think Jacob DeGrom's going to go? I think he's going to the Halos. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. They need it. It's Matt Olson. You never they know. They do need the pitching. If Shohei's gone after next year, right. Mike Trout's not getting any younger. No. They may have new ownership. There's Alejo Lopez, rookie auto for the Reds. That'll be for Jose. What about Aaron Judge? What do you think? I think he might go to the Giants, right? Right. That'd be so interesting. You know? His numbers would go down so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giants, want, Giants need like that sort of star power. Yep. You know, they've always wanted that sort of big superstar. Mm-hmm. I think they have the money. Yes. You know? They haven't spent a lot recently, but they have the money, so they've just been kind of sitting on that. You know, there is the, the Aaron Judge can go back home narrative. Mm -hmm. Here's Cody Bellinger, 65 out of 299. I'll tell you, he was the only swing that looked pretty bad last night. Bellinger? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's coming back, right? No, As a Dodger. I don't think so either. Because I think I think he has one more arbitration year. Correct. But I don't know if I think they'll just let him walk. Yeah. How the mighty have fallen. You know, yeah. Here's Kervin Castro, rookie auto for Steve Birch and the Giants. I don't know. I feel like every team, though, is, is, is putting a call into Jacob DeGrom's agent, right? Absolutely. And Aaron Judge's agent. There's no way that every single team is kicking the tires you have on to. that. Yeah. They're too good to not even check in on it. Yeah. Even if it's the A's, they're just like, maybe? Like, hey, <laughs> you know? Hey, you want to. desire? Yeah, we might, get a, we might get a new stadium, Aaron Judge. Uh, we can design it. It hasn't been built yet. We yeah. can design it just for you. Just right to your specifications. Yeah. There's Jake Cousins for the Brew Crew. We'll, we'll put your face That's on for it. Steven, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, everyone's got to at least put in the phone call. Yeah. As a GM, you, if you don't, you at least take a swing. Yeah. What, is your, what are you doing? Right. There's Reese Hoskins, black and white for the Phillies. For Nick. Although, I mean, but Ballinger still plays gold glove defense. That's, he's, that's, no, he's amazing. That's the thing that keeps him in the lineup. Absolutely. But I think you can find good defenders with a lot less yeah. price tag. Yeah. Better speed. They'll yeah. be 200. <laughs> There's Juan Yepes, rookie auto for the Redbirds. It's going to go to Steve Birch and the Cardinals. Ooh, and a future stars autograph, Bobby Dalbeck. Nice. That's right, Justin Clement. That's Evan. Helping out. A little pack stacking. A little pack stacking. 48 out of 99. That goes to Zach and the Bow Sox. Nice. Hey, what up, friends? How you doing? There's Trey Mancini, purple, speckle, to two ninety nine. That's for uh, the O's. That's going to be for Nick. Oh, we only got six loose boxes. That, that's it. Feel free to take those. The what? W N B A. Oh. Wander Franco, Kevin and the Rays. Ah, oh, it's good, it's good, French. <laughs> it's great, been loving it. Good to hear you're doing well. Whenever I see the uh, LSU Tigers, I thank you. 
right. Hey, do you know if uh, Craig Kimbrell was at the game? He was. He was announced. Oh, he was. Yeah. Okay. Everybody. Uh, That's nice then. Everybody that didn't make it also got announced as well. It's Tyler Glass now, two forty nine out of two ninety. I didn't know how. Uh... He by far and away got the lowest of the applause. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it was pretty noticeable. Hey, at least he's like, hey, I'll still support my teammates hey, and hang he's out. Still a hall of famer. Pretty yeah. Much when it comes down yeah, it's kind of crazy thing about it, but yeah. yeah. He's up there on the saves numbers. Just Connor Wong. Too many innings. Zach. 131 out of 150. I think we'll probably see uh, Blake Trinan tonight, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Because there's an off day tomorrow. He's not going to do back to back, so it's a right. perfect day. And he'll be ready for the next game too. I'll tell you, I've never seen quite the likability of anybody besides Mookie Betts. I mean, he's only been here for a few years. And yeah. They love him. He's just that kind of dude. He's just that guy, exactly. I mean, everybody's got a Mookie Betts jersey there last night. It was incredible. There's Kevin Smith, Toronto Blue Jays. That'll be for Jose. Brandon Woodruff, black and white. It's for the Brew Crew, Steven. And we got a Tyler McGill. Rookie autograph. I don't know what that parallel. Aqua Wave, something like that. 198 out of 199. Now I'm curious. There's so many different parallels and so many different products. I don't know if my brain can really, uh, I don't know if I have the hard drive space for it. <laughs> gotta upgrade. I don't know, I gotta upgrade. Hard to upgrade the hard drive. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's see, cardboardconnection.com. What are we gonna call that? We're gonna call that. 199. That uh, that's an aqua lava refresh. Are they calling these lavas now? Aqua refractors, an aqua mini diamond. No, this must be just an aqua wave. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was looking at the wrong section. The, the autograph section has it as aqua wave. So my instincts were right. All right, oh, another Wander Franco insert this time. It's another one for uh, Kevin in the Rays. There's Jed Lowry, gold, 22 out of 50. That's for Matthew in the A's. Shoei Otani. Jose Ramirez. Oh, and there's Cutter Crawford. We'll uh, see him spike that. Uh, that breaking ball right there. I wonder if he throws a cutter. Let's look at the uh, 
pitch charts. How often do you think Cutter Crawford gets asked that question? Ladies and gentlemen, hey, do you throw a cutter? There's Jesus Lazardo, 300 out of 399 for the Marlins. I think these are considered magenta. I think I was calling them fuchsia. These are magenta. I got excited when got Sean in. Mania started warming up last night. I was like, <laughs> there's a few runs. There's O'Neill Cruz. They were, they were warning up Sean Mania, huh? Yeah. O'Neill Cruz, refractor for Bill and the Pirates. There's the Padre starter tonight, you Darvish. Hans Kraus, Phillies, Nick with the fight and fills. And Zach Lothar, purple, uh, purple parallel for the O's. Nick Stoffel with the O's. 234 out of 250. Got a Jackson Reeds, 002 out of 299, purple speckle. Mike Tower saying probably a bad thing if the pitcher has a nickname Spitball. Who has the nickname Spitball? Sounds like an old 1890s nickname. Old, old, old Spitball, spitball Johnson. Yeah, Spitball John. Old Spitball Johnson. Back in my day, Spitball. Was watch nice. out! Yeah, watch out for old Spitball Johnson. All right. Oh, new case coming out. So here's and final baseball. two boxes here. And again, we'll do a uh, we'll do a recap, autograph recap at the end of this. Darren, what's going on? Darren Porter, the Porterhouse Steak in the house. It's Chasm Cormick, rookie autograph. That's a nice shot of him diving. Strohs, that's going to be for Chad Wright with the Astros. 334 out of 499. Ooh, nice uh, Jaspi Orange Parallel. That's what they call it. Jaspi Orange Parallel. Trevor Story, 25 out of 25. That'll be for the Rocks. Jay with the Rockies. Rockies edition of Trevor Story. Darren, when's the last time, when's the last time you've had a porterhouse steak? Darren Porter. Oh, and there's a Romy Gonzalez. Might need to go to go to some uh, uh, maybe go to Jaspie's autograph camp. Chris Maxwell with the White Sox. Was Lester Hayes cheating with all the sickum he used? Was George Brett cheating with all pine tar on his bat? Well, according to that umpire, yes. They measured it across the plate and everything. It's one of the greatest tantrums of all time. Yeah. It's ter quite frankly a terrifying tantrum. Yes. If I was the umpire, I'd be like, wait. I'd have been like, hey, no. I'd have been like, uh oh. What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> I, I unleashed some monster here. Here is Tyler Gilbert. Oh, I thought there was another car behind there. Tyler Gilbert for the Snakes. Chris Maxwell. 
Wonder if Tyler Gilbert lives in Gilbert. Uh -huh. You think? You think maybe? Got to right. I mean, he gets a discount. Probably. He gets a discount, yeah. <laughs> Just like Darren Porter, he probably gets discounts for Porterhouse steaks. Every single Porter. Every every single steak. Maybe I can get discounts on uh, cups of Joe. Oh, that'd be pretty go. good. Yeah, where is? Where do you think that pine tar bat is? Maybe. Uh, the umpire has it. Maybe yeah. No. <laughs> the umpire took it. <laughs> the equipment. I mean, I guess it's an illegal bat, so yeah. I guess they had. Maybe got. Maybe turned into a batting practice bat or something. It's next to Sosa's. Uh, yeah, cork, cork bat. bat. There's Marco's Diplon Blue Refractor for Nick and the Orioles. 61 out of 150. And a Heart of the City autograph. That's pretty cool. Matt Olson. Used to be. <laughs> Man, he started the season so hot. Yeah. 11 out of 99 A's edition. That's from Matthew. Matthew Shira with that. Austin Meadows purple to 250 for the Rays. And think about that team. That, that was Matt Chapman, Matt Olson, Marcus Simeon. Ooh. This is decent pitchers, too. Yeah, I mean, that just sucks for the Yeah, it's their really, stadium is so bad. I, I think they did get approval for, I want to say, in the new stadium that's just south of there. Good, because that one's Because... Okay. They can get a new ballpark, maybe make it a little bit smaller, more intimate, get some fans in there. Or a little safer. I mean, it's the you know, worst yeah, park yeah, yeah. stop on the whole thing. I mean, I think the Warriors couldn't wait to leave that area. No, they couldn't. <laughs> and then once they started winning championships, they were like, all right, we're banking right, some of this money for, for a new arena. Yep. And then it was out. On the water. Goldschmidt to three ninety nine. Goldie, Magenta. Steve Burch and the Cardinals. <laughs> that would be a chew toy. Yeah, where where are those? Uh, yeah, where are the deflated footballs at Brady? They must have just gotten recycled back into rotation, I would imagine, or got inflated and then reused. <laughs> But I don't know, the football for the Immaculate Reception, who knows where that is? Your Lakers are back tonight. That's right, a little preseason action for them. I can't believe the, the regular season starts next week. Yeah. It's crazy. That Aaron Judge to 25 goes to Josh and the Yankees. What an amazing season he's had. And there's Trevor Rogers. Purple speckle autograph for Tony and the Marlins. 164 out of Case one in the books, here comes the first box, first half box, second half that first box, another box, and another box. All right, good luck. That's right, yeah, the NHL season just started yesterday. So I'm sort of a Poor start for my Kings, but yeah, just gave one. Yeah. I, I feel like that was a problem last year too, like the yep. last minute, the, the last minute goal. And our penalty kill. Terrible. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Fiala is supposed to help with those power play issues too. Yeah, right? well, he took two really dumb penalties. Yeah. Mm. Cost us two goals. 
Royce Lewis, purple speckle to two ninety nine. Former number one overall pick. Just needs to stay healthy. We got Joe Adele, orange wave, four out of twenty five. For the Halos, that's going to be for John. The Royce Lewis auto goes to Michael Losi and the Twins. Oh, and the other auto, it's a Glenn Auto auto. <laughs> a Glenn Auto auto going to Chris and the Rangers. Yes, Michael. I'm I'm well aware of the result last night. There's a uh, Peyton Henry rookie refractor autograph for Tony and the Marlins to four ninety nine. Got the uh, got the game underway. Phillies at Atlanta. Looks like don't see any rain. I think they could get this game going. I guess it just turned into just a regular night game now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just get double the game full at night now. And Bryce Harper pokes one down the left field line. Ooh, he's rattling around out there. Stand up double. And we got Oliver Ortega. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the special thing in archives baseball is this year. We've got we've got a case lined up on the break schedule, John with the Angels. So um, we'll find out soon enough. And the Orange Wave autograph, Kevin Smith, Blue Jays, Jose. 15 out of 25. Nice little number on that one. Christian Yelich, Green Wave, 6 out of 99 for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Steven. Philly's playing a little small ball here. Got Castellanos sacked uh, Bryce Harper over to third. Small ball is forgotten. It's awesome. Yeah. I saw Bryce Harper trying to put down a bunt the other day. Ooh. Is that Granky purple speckle 208 out of 299? People at the game talk about how next year's going to be so different with the pitch clock and the uh, no shifting and. He on the dirt and stuff. Yeah, and you know what else? You can only throw over to a base runner twice. Huh. Per at bat, maybe? Wow. Actually, I don't know the rule. So that'll help people like James Turner and stuff like that. Right. And there's Kevin Smith again, another Kevin Smith for Jose and the Blue Jays. Jose, you're starting your Kevin Smith PC, <laughs> whether you intended to or not. It's twice to the same base, or twice. To the, I'm not sure exactly the specifics, uh, spe yeah, uh, specifics of the rules, but yeah, you can only do it twice. So that pretty much means. Hopefully, 
steel? Yeah, I mean, steel might go up. That'd be great. We might see... I don't know. We might see a 40-40 season. Ooh. Julio Rodriguez? That, wow. Maybe a he trout? Could, he could do, I don't, they don't let him steal Not anymore. anymore. Yeah. That's true. That's very true. One head first dive, and, and then a busted shoulder, and then they're yeah. like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so these are lava. Blue lava refractor autograph Nick Lodolo for the red legs. That's going to go to Jose, 35 out of 150. Wow. Is Joe West, Country Joe, Cowboy Joe West autographs? Country Joe. Country Joe in, in of, archives? And then one of the uh, minor league manager, the female for the uh, Yankees. Oh, the she's man. in archives yeah. too? I guess the Joe West will be randomized to someone in the in the group, and obviously the manager will be to the Yankees. It's part of the organization she's in. Patrick Wisdom, 37 out of 99, a wise, wise hit for Mark L. Huh. Joe West is in the fan favorites subset. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. 89 out of 399. That's loud. It's JD Martinez. Gets randomized to the Magenta. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's a real fan favorite or a player favorite. <laughs> Anybody's favorite. Yeah. Another Wander Franco for Kevin and the Rays. And there is another red. Trey Aubergé. Rookie auto for Jose and the Cincinnati Red Legs. Gold wave right there. Let's check that out in a second here. Got a Jake Berger, black and white. I want a burger and Seth beer. Too. Yeah, me too. Burger and a beer auto. Dual autos. It would sell way more than the players. Are Make that happen, <laughs> Tops. Make that happen. We got a Jaron Duran Duran Aqua Wave autograph. Evan, do you have a favorite Duran Duran song? Uh, Zach with the Red Sox. What is it? Howling like a wolf. Hungry name? like the Hungry wolf. Like yeah, that's a good wolf. one. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that song. All right, let's see what that Gold Wave is all about. It's a Joe Ryan. Rookie gold wave, five out of 50 for the Twins. That will be for Michael, Michael Losio with that one. Lucas Giolito, and there's Nicky Lopez. Autograph for the Royals, that'll be for Adam and KC. See if they cashed in that run. 
All right, we got River San Martin, rookie autograph for the Reds. That's going to go to Jose and the Red Legs. They did not cash in that run. They got the double. Nick Cassanas lined out to move Bryce to third. Alec Bohm grounds out, and Brandon Marsh strikes out. Yeah. I forgot the Phillies got Brandon Marsh yeah. from the Angels. The Angels kind of just gave up on him. Kind of, yeah. I thought he was supposed to be one of their like young youngsters, oh, exactly. young core guys. Oh yeah. They shift him away. Yeah. Because they, they're everyone was talking about Brandon Marsh like last summer. They were yeah. like, yeah, Brandon Marsh. Yeah, exactly. There's TJ Friedel, another red. Red's having a nice break. There you go, Jose. Cincinnati Reds, Ron Cincinnati. We got a Magenta Speckle, Brandon Crawford, 213 out of 350. I remember, I don't know if you remember this, Evan. I remember one year, maybe it was a Dodgers home opener or something like that, and uh, Jason Bateman was doing the PA stuff. No way. I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Jason Bateman. He was there last night. Yeah, he he's a big Dodgers, Dodgers fan, yeah. yeah. And um, I think he was doing the, just the PA, just the lineup calls, and it was that, it was one season where the Giants had like, Four different Brandons on their oh, on their team. Belt and Crawford and all that. Yeah, well, yeah. There's Brandon Crawford, Brandon Belt, and I think they had a couple other Brandons, like another Brandon or two in that lineup. Wow. And I remember Jason Bateman going like, uh, now batting another Brandon, <laughs> but just in that dry Jason Bateman voice. That's so funny. And I was like, him and uh, Rob Lowe got the largest. Applause of anybody they showed in the stands. Oh, nice. Bravo was decked out. Yeah, I saw him on TV. He had, he had like a fresh Dodgers cap on. Yep. There's a Justin Clement's brother, Ernie Clement. 16 out of 99. Justin has never told us that he's had a, has a brother <laughs> in the big leagues. And that green wave goes to uh, Josh and the Guardians. There's Trey Mancini. Nice little color match there. Orange auto for the O's. Nick with the Orioles. Is that car just lurking in our parking lot here? What's up? No, I think this guy is trying to come in, but he doesn't see anybody. So I'm about to oh. Yeah. yeah, go check it out. I'm going to go see it. 25 out of 25 on that Trey Mancini, Nick. And another Oriole, Alex Wells. Rookie autograph. Another one for Nick. A little Orioles box here. And another random. Gilo, what's going on? All right, there's another, another box here. Two half stacks. We got Zach Short. Not short. 5'10. 124 out of two, 150. Blue Lava for the T Grays. Chad Wright with the Tigers. Got Isaiah Kiner Falefa, black and white, photo negative. For, uh, for the Rangers. That's right, Rangers. That's going to be for Chris. Still Rangers edition there.
And a blue, Mike Trout, 50 out of 150. That guy's pretty good. He goes to John and the Angels. And if only Trout was healthy, that could have been two players chasing 60 in a season. I think Mike Trout still finished with 40 some on home yeah, runs. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Usually the home run derby kills those guys. And we got another Patrick Wisdom autograph for Mark and the Cubbies. We'll try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Steal a box. Oh, it's already sliced. Oh, nice. Perfect, thank you. All right, another box. We are flying here. Look at this pack. Whoa. Look how thin that pack is. I think there's only one card. It's gotta be only one card, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Chaz Chisholm. <laughs> and then there are some packs that have extra cards. Yeah, some yeah. cards will have like six in it. Yeah. Here. Evan, who do you have winning this game? Phillies, Phillies Braves. Uh, man. You know what? I got the uh, Braves. Got the Braves I mean, in this I think one? They're too talented to lose back to back at home. Right. Mm. It's a World Series winning team right there. Exactly. What about Yeah, I think Braves too. Not off the top of my head, the Thursday night football, which Thursday night games have been kind of weird. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. Commanders at the Bears. <laughs> An exciting Commanders at Bears matchup. <laughs> Carson Wentz versus Justin Fields. <laughs> Quality. That's a 12-10 game in yeah, the <laughs> Throwing some bad weather on top. Yeah, of yeah, it'll be 13 Later. 9. Later. Peace. There's Chris Sale. Black and white. Speaking of Chris's. That's for Boston. That's going to go to Zach. Yeah, all underdogs usually is the, if, if you're a betting man, it's usually the right play. But then you also have to consider, it's hard to, hard to beat teams two times in a row, in general. It's called the, the zigzag theory. There's Alec Manoa. 
I was surprised at his rough start in the wild card round. That goes to Toronto. That'll be for Jose. 383 out of 499. And I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Andre Jackson. Andre 3000 Jackson. For the Dodgers, that's going to be for Josh. All right. Ooh, we're almost done, folks. We're done, yeah. Do you want help with silver or no? No, I'm good. Cool. I'm good there. Thank you. Cool. So we got a box here. We got a, another box here. And Evan's working on the last box. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks, Evan. Anytime. All right, let's see what else we got in the last few boxes. And then we'll rip those silver packs. Silver packs, <laughs> silver packs. It's big hit time at the Jaspies. Sammy Long, Giants Check Redemption Autograph. That's right. Spotify, all the streaming. That's for Steve Birch and the Gigantes. Uh, Evan, a little personal question. How does your family handle the holidays? It was great. Do you, uh, you guys do Christmas too, or? You know what we do? We just do. We, uh, I have one aunt that married into a married ah. Christian man. So there you we go. Do, uh, so we do the Hanukkah and the yeah and, and the Christmas. So we, we do uh, we light the candles and have a tree. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fun. I get to doubling well, up on the holidays. Most sides of the family. I gotta I gotta work. Minutes. I gotta work on that. Yeah. So I get to see everybody. All right. Well, thank you guys for letting me join. Hey, thank you, Evan. No appreciate it. Of course. Wander Franco Hyper Parallel for the Rays. That's for Kevin Benedict. Who's Evan? That's Evan. Um, Evan sometimes fills in on sometimes fills in on Instagram. Runs our shop here. A lot of a lot of retail shop level stuff. Sometimes he helps me pack stack some of these longer breaks if he's not too busy. Adam Frazier, purple auto for the M. Steve Birch for the Mariners. We really got to hope the Mariners can bounce back from that from that brutal walk off yesterday. That's a 250. Got to have short memories, just like in group breaks. If you have a if you have a bad break, got to have short memories. Try again. There's Jacob DeGrom. Where does he end up? Gilo, where, where does Jacob DeGrom go? To your Royals, maybe? 180 at 350? Royals maybe taking out some, uh, some, uh, some mob loans. On the breaking side, he might be the sixth man. He he is a starter on the on the shop floor, though. He handles everything else. Wander Franco refractor. Brian Dela Cruz for the fish. Tony with the Marlins. On the utility. Yeah, actually, we all we all do wear a lot of hats here, huh? Oh, everybody's amazing. Yeah, there's Freddie Freeman, Kyle Lewis, yeah, 
the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we are still a small family-owned business, so we, we do all end up wearing a lot of hats. All hands on deck at any time. Another redemption here, Mike Moustakas Purple, Speckled to 299 Jose with the Reds, and it is Matt Brash, Mariners. That'll be for Steve Birch. Last Mets pitch that ended up on the road didn't do so hot, so definitely not here. Who was the last Mets pitcher to go to the Royals in free agency? Got Austin Riley, Purple Chrome, 34 out of 250. Braves, Tim Tyler. Matt Harvey, with, that's right. Matt Harvey was there briefly. And with, a lot, with a lot of documentary, I feel like a lot of documentary, player-specific documentaries happening. A lot of documentaries happening. We, we gotta we gotta see a thirty for thirty on Matt Harvey. There's Peyton Henry, purple chrome autograph, Miami Marlins, Tony. Two twenty nine out of two fifty. Maybe I just need, maybe I need to start a podcast, Gilo, on that. And call the podcast, hey, whatever happened to dot, dot, dot. Hey, whatever happened to Matt Harvey? I'm sure there's a podcast out there that already does that. But no one, but no one with Matt Harvey, maybe? No, no one's approached Matt Harvey? Paven Smith, 27 out of 399. For Chris Maxwell and the Diamondbacks. Maybe I can just do a video podcast. I'm already recording stuff now. Maybe I can do that. Maybe put it. There's Ronnie Dawson for the Astros. Last autograph, Chad Wright. Maybe put it in a special uh, playlist. Maybe make it, make it members on YouTube members only. All right, we're done with that. Now let's see, before we do a recap here, let's see about these silver packs. This is where our short prints are. The missing short prints discovered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That makes twenty-four. One for each hobby box in this double header. All right. Good luck, friends. Yeah, the dealer saying honestly it was really odd when he was here. So when he flubbed in the World Series against the Royals, I think it was the beginning of the end for Matt Harvey. I mean, he's only he's only uh, 33 years old, which is not that old if you think about it, right? Jacob Degrom is older than Matt Harvey. Jacob DeGrom's 34. He's turned 35 in June. And Matt Harvey's going to turn 34 in March.
Yeah, I was just I was just looking at that. Yeah, on May 17, 2022, because he's on a minor league deal with the Orioles, on May 17, 2022, he was issued a 60-game suspension for participating in distribution of prohibited drug of abuse. The suspension was li linked to his testimony related to the death of former Angels teammate Tyler Skaggs. So in the drug usage testimony part, it says, In the federal trial regarding the death of Tyler Skaggs, his teammate on the Angels, Harvey testified on February 15 that he had provided Skaggs with Percocet pills. Harvey uh, admitted that he regularly used cocaine while playing New York and Los Angeles and that he took Percocet while in the dugout and clubhouse during his Angels tenure. Then he claimed to receive the pills from Eric Kay, the dire Angels Director of Communications. Kay faces drug distribution and drug conspiracy charges. He was recently convicted of that um, and uh, got 22 years. So, there you go. Yeah, I think drug issues and the New York lifestyle, I think, is something that kind of got that kind of got a uh, derailed Matt Harvey. Oh, maybe he's clean now, trying to make his way back. That'd be a good comeback story. And then maybe you see the Matt Harvey documentary, right? All right, so the silver packs are just the usual chrome cards, except now we have the chance to see those uh, those short printed cards. Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., um, C.J. Abrams, maybe one other player, Spencer Torkelson maybe. So those short prints are redistributed in the sets of cards right here. There's a Spencer Torkelson, there we go. That's one of them, the extended base short print or whatever they're called. That's for the Tigers, that'll be for Chad Wright. Yeah, they're gonna be just as short printed in these packs. I think the odds will be the same as if it was normal break. And look at that, a Boba Shed autograph. We'll take it. That goes to Jose and the Blue Jays. Nice, that's from a 2020 set, right? Yeah. Toss some of those old ones in there. Rookie Boba Shed, that's pretty nice. short prints here yeah, I don't think so no but that's that there you go I'm Joe for Jaspi's casebreaks.com that is our double header thanks everybody for watching I appreciate it here is the recap there's autograph the Spencer Torkelson short I like the uh, the Wander Franco refractor the hyper parallel a lot of nice color here, that orange Trey Mancini, some relics. I like the look of the waves as well, the little waves and lavas. Speckles. Heart of the City insert autograph. I think it's the first time I'm seeing one of those. Future Stars Auto was also nice. Wander Franco Aqua Wave with Merrifield Relic, some lava, and Adam Frazier leading things off. There you go, boys and girls. Again, that was our 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball doubleheader break. Two hobby cases, random team break number four. We got number five in the store right now, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll doubleheader it with you next time. Bye-bye.